hello and welcome to a new quick edit video. This time I will be using this shot to create another composite image. That means I'm going to replace this overexposed sky probably with a sunset image and maybe some stars as well. And therefore I will be using Lightroom Photoshop and also the Photoshop plugin TK panel. So before I go on with the editing, here are the before and after images. All right, then let's do some Lightroom changes really quick. First, I'm activating the lens correction settings. I'm also changing the profile to Adobe Standard. This will make the darker areas a little bit brighter, which is helpful for this image. And for the white balance, I'm going with daylight, which will make the overall image look a little bit colder. And this will fit pretty good for a nighttime shot. Then I'm skipping the exposure, but I want to add some contrast. And of course, I need to reduce the highlights as they are quite overexposed. And then I want to increase the shadows to get some details back from the dark areas. Also, the image seems quite a bit oversaturated, so I'm reducing the vibrance. Okay, I think that's it for those global adjustments for the moment. Uh, I want to do a little bit of color grading, but I'm skipping the HSL tab. I'm going straight to the split toning and I'm applying a cold color tone to the shadows. And this will make the shot look more like a nighttime image. Okay, also, of course, I want to do some sharpening. And that's it for the Lightroom part. So I'm going to switch over to Photoshop and continue with the editing there. Okay, and the first thing I want to do is to replace the sky. And as I said earlier, I'm going to use the TK panel for that to create custom luminosity masks. And to create those masks, I simply need to push that plus minus icon. And then the plugin will create those new channel layers. Now in order to replace the sky, I first want to separate it from everything else that means in this case i want to have a pure white sky while everything that remains in the image needs to be black so i'm going with the lights two layer which i'm just duplicating and on the new layer i'm going to make some adjustments first i am opening up the levels window by pressing ctrl l to make the sky brighter i'm dragging down this slider and to make the blacks darker i'm raising this slider okay and then to further adjust this i'm going to use the brush tool set the blending mode to overlay and with the white color i'm going to paint over the brighter areas and as you can see the darker areas won't be affected by the brush and then i'm doing the same thing for the dark areas just with the black color also, you can see those bright spots in the foreground, which needs to be black. So I'm changing the brush mode to normal again. And then I'm just painting over it with a normal brush. Also, the waterfall shouldn't have this gray color. So again, let's change the brush to overlay and use a black color to change that. All right. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to select the brighter sky area by holding down the control key and clicking on the thumbnail. Then I'm going back to the layers tab. And here I can just click on the layer mask icon and of course invert the layer mask. And you can see this worked quite well. But of course we need to check it with the new sky behind it if it still does look good. So next I want to place the new sky in there. Oh, and by the way, you can find both the sky image and the Milky Way image to download in the description of the video. I need to place it behind this layer and then I need to position this sunset shot a bit. I think I'm going with something like this. And next I want to place the stars there as well. Let's rotate it real quick and scale it up. I don't want to have the Milky Way core in the center of the sky because that wouldn't look that realistic. Instead, I want to have a darker area. Okay, then I'm applying a layer mask on the stars layer. And now I paint back in the sunset by masking out some of the stars layer. Now 
Maybe I need to change the position of the sunset a little bit. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. But next I want to further enchant the foreground. As you can see, there are some ugly edges around the branches of the trees. I'm trying to fix that by again changing the brush mode to overlay and pick a black color. And maybe reduce the opacity of the brush to around 80%. And now I can brush over those branches and hopefully fix that edge. And one more thing I can do is to apply a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and clip it to the foreground layer and then just reduce the brightness. And you can see those edges will get less visible. And this will also help blend the image better together with the new sky. I think something like this doesn't look too bad. I still want to use the layer mask to make certain areas brighter. So again, I'm using a black brush and change the opacity to around 30% and just brighten up some spots of the image. Okay, then I also want to add some glow just above the tree line in the back. So I'm applying a new layer and set the blending mode to hard light. And then I'm grabbing a color from the new sky using the eyedropper tool. Maybe adjust it a little bit. Now I'm changing the brush opacity to 10% and also I'm changing the size all the way down. And to add this glow I am brushing in there and after each brush I want to increase the brush size. And I think I can also add some glow besides it a little bit. <clears throat> Let's change the position of the sunset a little bit more just because I want to have those yellow colors up there. Also there's a missing part of the sunset if you can see that right there. So I need to fix that by duplicating the sunset and just flip it vertically and then drop it there. Also I don't like the glow. I need to redo it I guess so let me just delete that layer and again new layer hard light blending mode I think I'm going with a new color let's try it like this I like it better but I want to desaturate it a little bit so I can do it by pressing ctrl u and just drop the saturation a bit okay and then pick a similar color and then just add some glow to the foreground okay let me just apply a separate new glow layer and just work with hard light again and maybe use a brighter color this time and now i want to make a more intense glow in the center of the first glow Okay, and now I'm satisfied with the result. Actually, let's add a little bit more. Okay, then let's go on. I think I want to apply another brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And I basically want to darken the whole image. Maybe also add some contrast. Now it does look a little bit weird, but I want to brush out some of that adjustment layer. Therefore, I'm changing the brush opacity to 30% again. And now what I'm doing is to just add some contrast to the image by bringing back some light in there. Okay, that looks quite nice. So next I want to apply some Nick collection filters. Therefore I have to merge all those layers into one layer. And for that I'm just using the TK panel which can create such a layer by merging the visible. And then I can go to filter and the Nick collection Colifix Pro 4. And the first filter I want to use is the classical soft focus just to add some blurriness over the whole image. And I think I want to use the diffusion 2 preset and just apply it. 
Now, of course, I don't want to have it over the whole image, so I'm applying a layer mask again and brush out certain areas. For example, the left side of the image does need this glow effect, as well as the dark area on the right side. And maybe even this center part. Okay, this does look quite nice. So I am merging those two layers and then I want to increase those sunset colors a little bit. Again, I will be using the Nick collection for that. And this time I will be using the skylight filter, which adds those nice warm colors to the image. And yeah, just be careful to not overdo it, of course. Okay, this looks really nice. Next, I want to use the dot tool real quick to brighten up the waterfall. And maybe some other areas as well. Okay, but before I overdo it, I will stop the editing, I guess. One thing there's left to do is I want to crop the image a little bit to get rid of those ugly spots on the right side. Okay. But that's really about it for editing this composite image. So I hope this was helpful and also interesting. And of course, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.